This 3-shot MTZ Interceptor build is still one of the most broken guns in Warzone 3, so in today's video, I'm gonna go through and break down every single attachment you need to be running to make your MTZ Interceptor one of the best guns in the game. So jumping straight into the first attachment for the meta MTZ Interceptor build, we wanna go ahead and start with the Blackthorn Barrel, which is gonna give us a pretty big buff to our damage, range, and recoil control. As you can see in the more detailed stats, 25% to both the effective and minimum damage range, as well as a 30% increase to our bullet velocity, which is gonna get us a lot closer to hitscan. Now for the second attachment, attachment, we want to throw on the best long range optic in Warzone 3, and that is going to be the Choreo Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. This optic is super clean, very easy to use, and gives us zero added visual recoil, very similar to how the VLK was in Warzone 1. Next up, since this gun does only start with a 10 round magazine, we definitely want to go ahead and throw on the 20 round mag, and one of the only bad things about this weapon is it does use sniper rifle ammo, so when you are using this build, you definitely want to grab as much sniper rifle ammo as you can and stow it in your backpack, or you can always carry a extra ammo box on you just to make sure you never run out of ammo. Before I do finish off the rest of the build. If you guys do enjoy my loadout videos, don't forget to smash that like and sub button. We post the best Warzone 3 loadouts every single day. And right now, over 96% of you guys who watch my videos are yet to subscribe. So do your boy a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below. Back into the build. For the fourth attachment, we do want something to increase that overall damage range. So with that being said, we do want to go ahead and throw on the high grain rounds. As you can see, this is going to massively increase our damage and range. 15% to both the effective and minimum damage range, as well as the bullet velocity. This is going to cost us a little bit of recoil control, but since this gun is a semi-auto with a slower fire rate, every single time we shoot this gun, it pretty much automatically recenters itself, basically giving this gun zero recoil. And for the fifth and final attachment to complete this MTZ Interceptor build, we're gonna go with the Spirit Fire Suppressor, which is of course gonna get rid of our red dot on the minimap when we're shooting our weapon. And on top of that, we do get an increase to our recoil control, damage range, and bullet velocity, which is gonna take our bullet velocity to 1,317 meters per second. And this is gonna make shooting enemies out of the sky or moving targets at long distances very easy to hit. Here's the full three-shot MTZ Interceptor, Interceptor build in Warzone 3 Season 1. Still one of the most broken guns in the game right now. And with it, I drop a crazy 40 plus kill game on Vondel Park. So with that being said, let's get into it. Occupation scan. The enemy is conducting recon scans of the area. Don't get compromised. Oh, I got it. Operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Kill confirmed, and we located the rest of them. Marking the rest of that. 
Operators from that squad, hunt them down. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your tack map. Get hunting. Enemy destroyed. Use your tack map to hunt down the rest of them. Evading the enemy. You're clear for now. Bang! Headshot. Yes, it's in You're almost done here. Wait, what the fuck? Target must be killed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 